guys, Creative Lurie here, welcome. Okay, so <laughs> I just got home from feeding my feral cats. And I really wanted to try out this recipe that was from the Depression era. <clears throat> it's, a, it's called a wartime recipe where you're using less meat and you're using grape nuts as a filler. So there was some, a ton of rations happening during that time and meat, butter, all of those things were cheese were rationed for our troops. So they use grape nuts as a great filler. I'm really excited to use this because I'm going to be doing it as a vegetarian style meatloaf. And you'll see at the end things have changed a little bit and I substitute a lot of things because I didn't have all the spices. But you just use what you have and to taste. I hope you enjoy this. So today we're going to make it with grape nuts and TVP. Okay, so I have some leftover crushed tomatoes. I have some frozen veggies here that I heated up. And I, I did quite a bit of veggies because it's just, you know, this is meatless. So, um, and I did the TVP, you rehydrate it with um, warm water. And um, so I had opened this can of, um, crushed tomatoes, oh, probably about six, seven days, mm, less than a week ago, six days ago, let's say. And I've only used less than half. So that's a good amount because the recipe called for two pounds of ground beef, one pound of ground pork, and then one cup of grape nuts. So it does call for one onion, um, and it calls for a bunch of spices that I don't have. But I'm gonna, and it does call for parsley, and I'm gonna add chives. I'm gonna add celery seed because why not? I would like celery in my meatloaf, um, pepper, and maybe a little bit of salt, and then garlic. Uh oh, garlic salt. Add some bouillon, and I'm gonna add one cube of bouillon. Okay, so I crumbled up one little bouillon cube, vegetable bouillon cube, and I'm gonna add some hot kettle water. To that, I'm gonna add the soy protein. Now, this isn't the recipe that I was looking at. Um, it's completely different. I'm just winging it because I wanna change it up. I'm not using meat, obviously add this to that at some point and I have the grape nuts um, soaking. I did use one and a half cups of grape nuts and I added about mm, half a cup, to, oh, maybe it was more like three quarters to a cup of hot water so it can, you know, engorge. So I'm just going to um, put this on the stove and I'll come back. Okay, so I forgot that it called for Worcestershire sauce. In, as a replacement, I'm just using light um, uh, soy sauce, and I'm telling you, this is delicious. Like, I tasted a little nugget. Oh, it's so hot. Ow, ow, ow. Oof, that's hot. Mmm. That is very good. All right, you guys, I pretty much put everything together. There's the one white onion. There's all those veggies. There were frozen veggies that I put in there. I would say a cup and a half. And then there's the grape nuts on top of the soy protein. Doesn't it look like ground beef? <laughs> and then over here, I forgot, they wanted you to add um, an egg. One egg, I believe one or two eggs for the binding agent. So I'm just, um, I added enough for two eggs through flaxseed meal, which is very healthy for you. And I added um, hot water to it, so it, it needs time to, you know, do its thing. But I'm, I just wanna say, I'm adding only the spices that I happen to have. I mean, so I mix everything together except for the flaxseed meal. So I went ahead and added that and incorporated it. So what I'm gonna do is put it in the oven at 375. 
Okay guys, it's the next day. I was really tired <laughs> last night. So um, I just pulled this out so you could see um, what it looks looks gross, but it it definitely is a consistency of like a meatloaf. I left it in, I'm trying to think, um, probably for like an hour in total. And um, I started putting it away um, to put in this, you know, containers because, and I lined it with wax paper because it's just too much food. But what I will say about it is that um, it, to me, the way I made it, because I went, I did not go off of the recipe completely. I didn't use meat. Um, it has a better, it would be best for like a taco meat crumble like a faux taco meat crumble so if you look at it though from the side it really does look like meat it's pretty impressive I will say um so these are just the the sides that were just um kind of like liquid that was bubbling up so I'm going to eat probably that piece maybe a little more for today and I'm going to make tacos and I'll let you know how it tastes so I'm going to have to add um I'm going to have to, this looks ugly, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm going to have to add some taco seasoning for sure, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap it all up. This is way too much food for my dad and I, so I'm going to have to freeze it, and I'm going to put um, wax paper in between the layers. Um, and I'll, I'll come back and tell you my thoughts on a couple of things that I could have tweaked. <laughs> okay, so the cleanup is like actual <laughs> meatloaf in the pan. Um, so I saved this much for me right now. So you can see the texture does look really good. Sorry, the spatula looks gross. But, um, so I am gonna do that. I'm gonna make this into a crumble. This I think would be really good over rice like and with like um, lettuce on top, shredded lettuce, sour cream. I do have sour cream. So I think I'm gonna make a taco crumble, make some tacos and um, fry it up. So let me come back and I'm gonna show you, but it basically gave me two of these containers um, of the meat and I just separated all the layers with wax paper. So that's a lot. The things I would do different, um, if this works out and I really like it as taco crumble, I'm gonna add less grape nuts. Remember I added additional grape nuts. So I'll be back and I'll show you how it turns out. All right, guys, I plated everything up. The moment of truth. I'm really bad at making burritos because obviously, <laughs> look it. Uh, I'm going to take a bite of this, and then obviously I know this is good, but let me take a little bite. Sorry, I took a big bite. <laughs> I didn't want to chew on, on camera. That was really good. It almost tasted like chorizo, which I like. I feel like it does look like a chorizo and has the veggies in it. Let me take another bite. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. So all in all guys, this was a win-win for me. This was delicious. I didn't think I was gonna like it. It only cost me $3, all that I made, that big casserole dish and the loaf pan. So much cheaper. It turned into a great chorizo type crumble. Um, and it also makes for a great hash with eggs and whatever you want to put with it as a supplement to your regular hash, perhaps. With the prices of meat going up, I think this is an awesome, awesome um, alternative. And I did tweak it a lot. I will put my recipe and their recipe in the description box, as always. And if I could do it different, like I said, I would add a little less um, grape nuts. But that's it. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. I know it's a longer video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all later. Thank you.